Umetnica mora biti zdrava. Biti zdrava. Biti zdrava. Bi, 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 biti zdrava. Yes. Serbia has had their first rehearsal. No, their second rehearsal here at Eurovision 2022. First for us, literally. <laughs> and it was amazing. Should we talk about it? Let's do this. I'm kicking this off with a big Vala slay. That was so good. Increasingly, I feel like this could really challenge. This is a dark horse with a little bit more light now. I feel like the dark horse is galloping pretty steadily. We know it's there, but we're not giving it the attention it deserves. This would be a fantastic winner, in my opinion, because it harks back to old school Eurovision, where things were fun and arresting and quirky and viral. But there's also serious music and a serious message. I want to start with Sinan because you are the biggest Serbia fan. Please let us know what you thought. Oh, I would love to go to Belgrade again and eat Cevapčići with Kajmak. That would be amazing. The whole performance, the camera angles, the graphics, the way she sings it, the way she expresses her, you know, herself. Oh my gosh, I really love the camera shots here yeah. because the way they cut the sh you know instead of zooming they cut it and then zoom cut zoom cut zoom it's like editing you know YouTube videos where you say something uh, just to delete you know the silent part you just cut it and then you know yeah. uh, continue and one of the most one of the best one of the most beautiful thing about this is it's like you know you are watching a movie with subtitles you know what Watching, let's say, English movie with a uh, movie with a Serbian language, but it's literally Serbian movie with English lyrics, and the Oscar goes to. It was a good idea to add those lyrics because now yeah. people who don't understand Serbian will get the message. Ah, and I think they were also really clever to not go full message. They don't tell the full story of there's no health insurance in Serbia. They just center the little subtitles on what's seen on a healthy body or something like that. Yeah. I remember. So it's much more universal. They were very clever there. I mean, the whole performance of Serbia is just fantastic from the beginning till the end. It's like there's not a single moment where you say, oh, because of most of these performances we've seen today, we're in rehearsals, so it's always going to be a shot that's not good, a shot that's not tight enough. In Serbia, everything was just amazing. Yeah. It looks so good, so polished. They had problems, apparently, the first rehearsal with the background, but they solved it really well. So you just now see the hands to the sides of the arc. So it, nothing is like hidden. Yeah. And it looks so, so good. And the final part, Oh, yes. The end? That's crazy. That's phenomenal. It's the best, the best ending we've seen so far. They go to a red light scenario. Yeah. Where it t changes it's tonally, like, visually, very yeah. red, and you like, you know the end is coming, and yeah. it gets more and more intense, yeah. and then it just ends, and she's like, what next? It's, it's aggressive, and in a part, it's like, uh, it reminded me of Georgia 2016, the bridge, mm. do you remember that? It's yeah. something like that, but in red, and like the end, yeah, it's, it's like, it's almost like apocalypse. Yeah. <laughs> and it's so, so. Because yeah. she's so even bathed in red light, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, exactly. She's bathed in red light. Totally. It gives that, you know, Pop 9 Mon, like emergency vibe, you know, emergency. I'm dying, help me, you know, mental, yeah. mental health and everything. I'm still, you know, the body's healthy, but at the end, you know, the health, the mental health and the anxiety is still there. Yeah. And then she said, Ishta Chemusat. What are we doing now? Yeah, and we should point out the lyrics that they use. At the beginning, they say, what's the secret to good health? They say, you know, an artist should live or an artist needs protection. They say um, something about mental health. Mm -hmm. You it know, has different layers, like uh, the, the, through, throughout the whole uh, performance. You know, I feel like this song has not only one meaning, but it has a lot of meaning. Yes. You should ask that in the press conference. Yeah. Girl. And literally on the stage, you see two stories developing at the same time. Because you see the critique towards Serbia's health insurance system yeah, for the yeah. artist, which is implied in the song. But then you also see the critique in English on the subtitles, which is related to general health and mental health. Yeah. So it's like you get two messages for the price of one. Yeah. This <laughs> is like fantastic for it. Yeah. yeah. I'm just so blown away by this performance and this could totally challenge actually it um, really could yeah you get the idea that it's not just about physical health it's also about what's between your ears the mental health I love when she's washing her hands and the guy takes her towel gives her the towel takes it back mm -hmm. it's like she is the queen mm -hmm. she looks like a nurse like the head nurse or even like I don't know maybe the pharmacist at a convent or a monastery because it does have the have this religious kind of tone to it 
<laughs> you know that like chanting. Yeah. Um, this just works on numerous levels. And she also unfold it's like a basic instinct moment except you don't see anything so she folds and unfolds her legs yeah, and like you see like, the red of her shoe and it's just all so subtle yet so good this is high art it reminds me of berlin there's just this like berlin vibe like it's so artistic <laughs> yeah. and it, you know spit on my boots you know i'm the nurse and oh i'm, I'm going down a d dark path now anyways final thoughts um do you think and i know the answer this is going to the final of course. There's no scenario this is not going to the final, I'm sorry. I mean, there's no way. Yeah, absolutely. And it could also win the contest. I mean, did you yeah. just see the reaction of the press room? Like, every single time people were clapping and, you know, uh, you know, doing the whole choreography together with her. It's interesting because I feel like this could be, it's not like an obvious winner, but this could totally be like second with the public, second with the jury yeah. and win. This is that dark horse, except yeah. she's getting shinier. I would love to see this win. There are a handful of songs, and this is one of them. Everyone at the table was clapping. Everyone yeah. at the table was kind of mouthing the lyrics as best yeah. as they could. Everyone was going, Beat it, Strava. Beat it, this just get, it gets inside of you. Yeah. I think it's, it's yeah, so yeah, iconic. It's yeah. This will go down as one of those memorable Eurovision performances you point out to your friends. So they say, what's Eurovision? And you're going to be like, watch Serbia 2022, girl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that song is actually not for everybody. It's for, you know, you know, the real intelligent thinkers, yeah, yes, philosophers, but you can lovers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you can take it also with just the hook part and you can just like it because you like the Beatles Strava part. And that's yeah. it. It's so intelligent. That's why it's so intelligent, actually. Beatty yeah. Strava, babe. All right. That's what we think. What do you think? Are you loving Serbia as much as us? Do you think that Serbia could win? Do you have a gorgeous wash basin that you put in between your legs and have a man bring you a towel for? Let us know here on Wee Wee Vlogs. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. We are on every social media platforms. Volume te pono prele po Serbia. We'll see you later. Bye!